So the Ace Malone procedure, Malone Ace procedure, but Ace Malone sounds better. So let's go for the Ace Malone procedure. So the Ace Malone procedure. Okay, so what you do, well not you do, I don't recommend you try this at home. Do not try this at home. But you take part of the appendix, or the appendix you construct in your stomach. Ideally use a surgeon for this bit, a, uh, a kind of passage which you can fit a catheter into, catheters we've covered, see, see last video. And then you use, put the catheter into the hole in your stomach and then use this device, use this device. And as you see, there's a bag here, you fill up with water. There's a switch, for want of a better word. And there's a funnel, for want of a better word. You plug the funnel into the catheter, you plug the catheter into the hole in your stomach, you wash water through the whole thing and it washes your bowels out. And this is because my bowels don't sort of empty themselves normally. So this sort of enables that to happen. And I do that every one or two days. I believe this is quite a rare condition. Is that, is that right? Or at least the, the procedure you do is, is not, really, not really performed that much now. I was actually told by another surgeon recently, this is incorrect. I was told that by a surgeon when you were in the room, I was told that. But I've now been told by another surgeon who specialises in these. They still do this. So usually they do this with the appendix. Uh, when I tried to do this with my appendix, it went a bit wrong. So I used, I've got what's called a modified ACE procedure rather than the standard ACE procedure. And a modified ACE procedure, they use uh, part of the upper bowel. And I think that, um, that operation, I was either the second person in the country or the second person in the world to have. I'm not quite sure which one. But that was quite exciting, you know. You're a celebrity. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, if you get famous for doing this, you know, there was a, there was a kind of Olympics for this kind of thing, then, you know, hey, I'd be in silver medal. <laughs> but they also do another procedure as well where they just sort of stick a, basically, exactly like clonic irrigation. And the weird thing about this procedure is that basically clonic irrigation stems from, from this procedure. And let's be blunt here, if you've not got any issues with your bowels whatsoever, there's absolutely no benefit to doing this. But if you've got a genuine medical condition, then, you know, this is, well, I mean, for me, this is helpful. Uh, and so you have to do this uh, every day? What, what, what time of day do you do? Uh... I do it in the morning. I can do it every, in theory, every two days. It works better if I do it every day. I mean, like anyone, you know, you kind of keep your bowels regular. It probably kind of works better for you. But, uh, but yeah, I do it every uh, I do it every day, usually, except that sometimes I'm lazy and I do it every two days. I do it in the morning for work, and then that sort of sorts me out for the rest of the day. Uh, and are there any uh, complications um, related to this procedure? The main complication is you put three, four litres of water into your stomach, and then, you know, and then they come out again. And that's absolutely fine. But if you put the three, four litres of water in, they don't immediately come out. That really, really hurts. Really hurts. Really, really, really hurts. And then for the rest of your day, are you, are you okay? Do you need to do anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much okay. Sometimes um, sometimes it takes a little while before it completely clears out. So I might need to nip the toilet a couple more times shortly afterwards. But once that's done, then generally speaking, I'm, I'm fine for the rest of the day. And how long does the procedure take? Uh, the procedure takes about 45 minutes but that's only sort of 10 minutes of the water going in then you know then kind of it takes about 15 20 minutes for it to come out again then normally i'd sort of stay around for 10 more minutes just to sort of make sure but it's not a bad thing you know because one particularly once the water's in you just sort of sat down for half an hour it's a good time to catch up on reading recently i've been learning german you know it's actually it's actually nice nice me time a nice thinking time i find